happy birthday, dear, whoever's birthday it is that's watching this. Okay, so I shouldn't be a singer and I also clearly shouldn't be a baker based on my last cooking videos, but you know, today we are doing it again anyway. What is up, beautiful people? It's Amber, welcome back to my channel, and today we are doing a little bit of a birthday cake DIY. Mostly because I feel like the last time I made it really difficult when actually it's not that hard after all. But, you know, I'm saying this before I even start this video, so I don't know if it's actually gonna be as easy as I think it is. But we're gonna try and see and figure it out. So instead of me just continuing to ramble here uh, to myself in my closet, let's just get started. Without further ado, here we go. DIY extra fabulous birthday cake. Broke bitch style. Of course. I can't believe I'm doing another cooking video. Okay. <laughs> video with an outfit of the day even though I look so rough today oh my goodness yikes all day I've been having terrible allergies so I've like practically sneezed my eyelashes off and I'm just uncomfortable so I am wearing literally a tank top and Uggs eh. definitely not my best look but uh I can assure you that usually my fashion skills are infinitely better than my cooking skills so if that doesn't make you nervous to continue watching this video I don't know what will but uh yeah anyways ugh Ignore my snuffles and my kind of lackadaisical look, but we just try to be comfy and go get some cake materials. So there we go. Sick day chic. Voila. George, where are you? Bye, honey. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. First stop is the grocery store. So could I be a normal person and just bake a cake? Yes, but also I really don't want to screw this up. So we're just gonna, you know, buy a cake. In my defense, I did say DIY cake decor, not cake. I can't wink, but whatever. Oh my god, wow, I'm hungry. Okay, so we're gonna go to, here we go. Yes, we got some nice frozen cakes in here. These will be perfect. <laughs> this is a very sad looking loot. Alrighty kids, so we are home and here are the ingredients for this project. So of course we have got the cakes that I just picked up. We also have these absolutely amazing little sugar butterflies. I am literally obsessed with these. These were actually literally the inspiration for this project. They are edible sugar flower butterflies. When I saw them recommended to me on Amazon, I was like, I have to do something with these. Um, I got a little happy birthday thing. I got some gold powder, IDKY. I have this, which looks very mysterious. This is actually edible black lace that I also got on Amazon. It's made of sugar also. Oh my gosh, so cool. Of course, I got some pink fondant. So that is what we're going to use to create the birthday cake masterpiece. Hopefully this is as easy as I'm anticipating. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Amber cooks round seven million. Cue the music. Here we go. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take some pink fondant and then we take a little rolling pin thing that I used in my other cake decorating video. And basically you can see it just looks like a giant pile of frosting. We're gonna take the rolling pin and just kinda, you know, roll it on out until it gets nice and flat. Dun da da da, it's like magic with the time lapse. But you can see once it's all nice and flattened like this, we're gonna switch gears to the cake really quick. So you can see we're just gonna go ahead and remove all of the frosting that is kind of going to get in the way here. So we're just gonna scoop that off so it is nice and smooth. You can see, um, I mean, you know, we kind of messed it up royally, but it doesn't matter because we're going to cover it anyway. <laughs> George, <laughs> hi pumpkin. So we're gonna go ahead and take the pink fondant. And we're just going to lay that on top of the cake like so. Kind of press it into the corners here. And then what we're going to do is once it's all kind of pressed around like this, we're gonna go ahead and take a knife and just kind of trim off the extra pieces that are getting in the way of the aesthetic. Do, 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 until that's off. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the little cake, obviously. Remove the frosting there. Go ahead and lay the pink fondant on top. Go ahead and plop that on top like this so it's kind of stacked up. You can see it's definitely a little messed up again, but that's okay because that is my aesthetics. So you can go ahead and take the groovy black lace and what you're gonna wanna do is literally just kind of wrap it around the cake. It will stick on if you put a little bit of water on one side of it. Go ahead and line up the different pieces next to each other so you can cover the entire length of the cake. And you can see when you take it away, <gasps> looks fabulous. We're gonna go ahead and wanna do that on the top piece too here. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the lace again. We're just gonna go ahead and trim it down with a knife. So you can see you press that down and it will split off like that. So then we have a nice little piece of lace here. And again, same shenanigan. We're just gonna wrap that around the top like that. Looking good, kids, looking good. 
Next up, we have got some edible adhesive, which is not E6000 glue, but this is a version that you can actually put in your mouth without dying. So you can go ahead and take the cool little sugary butterflies, go ahead and put a very tiny amount of glue because they are made of sugar, so they will dissolve, but just put a little tiny bit on those and you can just stick them right on to the cake anywhere that your heart desires. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. So you kind of arrange them in however arrangement that you want, and you can see it looks like a bunch of bugs are crawling on your cake. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It looks very aesthetically beautiful. So you then, can see last but not least, the easiest touch, we got this little happy birthday thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of, you can see, press that into the fondant like this. Also edible glue that so it stays even better. And, dun da 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 you can see the before one more time, and the after. So you can see the cake came out so good. It looks absolutely beautiful. The butterflies, the happy birthday, the pink fondant, it definitely looks very glamorous, very expensive, and way better than it did literally 15 minutes ago. This barely took me any time at all, and not to mention the total cost was, I think, like 30 bucks. So 10 out of 10 stars for myself. I am proud. Maybe, uh, you know, I finally got the hang of this cooking thing. Not really, but making cheap things look expensive certainly is something that I'm good at. how I give a very basic birthday cake a full glam makeover. By the way, so funny, no, I am not in my house right now. I am actually in New York City. Um, I forgot to film an outro to this video and then I realized that this morning when I went to post it, I was like, um, I didn't ever close it out. So greetings from New York, hi. I'm actually headed home on a plane um, tonight. So I'll be back in LA soon for more content. But Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Um, if you want to make your own DIY cake, I linked everything in the description. Don't forget as always to subscribe to the channel for lots more glamorous fun and uh, I feel like I'm spitting. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so very much. Kisses till next time. Stay fabulous, stay glamorous, and don't forget anything can be fabulous if you want it to be. So on that note, I love you. Kisses till next time my sweet beautiful baby angels. XO. Well, you guys, I literally just sneezed my eyelash off. Ugh. Now that's a look.